essentially what we want to do is to bring you up this triangle instead of memorizing for exams we want you to understand we want you to be able to apply we want you to be able to analyze and finally create new solutions if possible we want you to be able to handle 21st century problems in chemical engineering All right the important information now these are the diplomas that we'll take in okay students with diplomas from all this from Nanyang, Nian, SP, Tamasek with all these respective um, diploma degrees or diploma certificates we will accept the cutoff is around 3 uh, GPA of 3 we will consider lower GPAs if you've got relevant working experience yeah we also require a minimum level in English so O level C6 IL 6.5 if you don't have O levels or TOEFL okay we are taking up to 90 students this year all right these are the things that you'll be studying in year one 120 credits so some of you will recognize some of the words there things like maths reactor engineering separation processes etc year one contributes a third of the degree program year two again 120 credits even more advanced chemical engineering stuff topped off by a plant design project which is 40 credits a third of the course and year two contributes the rest to the, towards the degree the degree programs in three ways will help you one to you or well, to equip you with, with the skills and knowledge secondly we're going to help you to develop not just your IQ but your emotional intelligence because we believe as engineer you do not work alone you work with other people yeah so group skills communication skills how to relate yourself to other people you learn this as part of the course thirdly we also want to enable a path for you to become a professional engineer in two directions one in terms of academy the other direction is in terms of industry now career opportunities very interesting questions now this in this degree programs we are going to teach you what is power how to generate power which is a little higher higher still is how to use power you might think oh after using power that's it no we teach even higher skills which is how to reuse the power so it stretch from one end to the other end so it is about power so any discipline any forms of work that needs power will need electrical power engineers so career options is wide and one of the key things um, we're uh, targeting our um, degree program but those students that are particularly motivated and interested in different aspects um, of food and how they're going to um, apply and the knowledge that they gain from the degree program in practice in terms of helping food companies develop healthier food products or how we engage in, with health promotion agencies in, in order to give um, a better quality and health advice uh, and think about how um, some of our subject knowledge relates to areas such as public health and nutrition so it's all about motivation and interest and how we're going to apply um, some of this information uh, in practice one of the key things that's been mentioned um, already is perhaps the idea that Newcastle University in the UK is a research intensive university so all of our teaching is underpinned by active researchers and some of the themes and topics that we look at in our degree program uh, are related to the research areas um, our academic staff are involved with and these loosely um, fall under about three um, umbrellas molecular nutrition understanding nutrition and metabolism at the cellular level public health nutrition how we apply some of this information in practice in order to give dietary advice and uh, encourage people to have healthier lifestyles and perhaps all sorts of other areas where we're looking at the interrelationships and interactions between food um, and quality and health and these are some um, quite key um, research themes that underpin some of the topics and modules um, that we study um, during the two-year um, program here in Singapore we offer a Bachelor of Engineering in Naval Architecture Marine Engineering and offshore engineering and over here in Singapore as well as in the UK these programs are accredited for professional recognition uh, through the Royal Institution of Naval Architects and the Institute of Marine Engineering Science and Technologies and of course many of our graduates work throughout the extensive maritime industry here in Singapore and internationally at the end of your first year you will also be joining us in Newcastle for a five-week 
overseas immersion program. And so you will see the facilities in the UK as well as uh, the UK Newcastle campus. Here's an example of some of the modules you'll be studying. And again, for some of you, these might be familiar words. And a large part of what you'll do in your second year, something you probably think of as FYP, we call it the, the dissertation, forms a large part uh, of the uh, work that you carry out in your second year, which is research-led and can be industrially supported. So the programs themselves, specifically designed and suit the marine-based diplomas from across the different Singapore polys, um, we also consider equivalent qualifications. Furthermore, we also have a bridging program, a 12-week bridging program. So if you're coming from basically a mechanical engineering background and you're interested in converting to marine technology, we can offer you that bridging program to do that in the lead up to the degree. Um, what do mechanical engineers do? If you do a degree in mechanical design and manufacturing engineering, basically you do a lot of different things. Mechanical engineers make things work. They make structures, they make things go places, and they at the forefront of technology in many areas. This isn't just a collection of photographs which are downloaded from the internet. Our students develop core skills in teamwork, communication, problem solving, working with each other uh, through lectures, seminars, practicals, and projects. The Singaporean graduates that we've had from Newcastle University have gone to all of these companies. They all get jobs. Uh, they all get interesting jobs. So if you graduate in mechanical engineering, you will get an interesting job that you want in either Singapore or anywhere else that you might want to go. And there's, there's a small list down the bottom of, uh, of um, employers who have approached us for graduates and student placements. So you will have a degree which is highly in demand. 